Number three, At-Tatawwu' Al-Mutlaq, the unrestricted, the unrestricted Nafil prayer at any time of the night and day. So for any reason, so the Rawatib are linked with the five prayers. The Witr and Tahajjud is linked between Fajr and, between uh, Isha and Fajr. And then you can pray at any time. So right now, we have prayed Maghrib. Inshallah, we have prayed Sunan Ratiba, And we're still waiting for Isha. Right now, if this lecture were not going on, and we were at home or in the masjid, and we just wanted to stand up and pray, we all know it is ja'iz and good. This is what he's talking about. At-tatawwu' al-mutlaq. The unrestricted prayer. That you just pray at any time. And this as well is encouraged and um, the uh, perhaps the most famous narration in this regard is that uh, famous hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that uh, one of his servants um, was asked by the Prophet sallam that what do you want? Uh, ask me something and I'll give you. What do you want it? And uh, the Prophet sallam was expecting that this servant would say, I want a money, I want horse, I want this, I want that. So instead he asked, Ya Rasulullah, I want to be with you in Jannah. Okay. So the Prophet said, Idan a'inni ala nafsika bi sujood. In that case, help me in your cause. Help me to do what you want me to do by lots of sajdas. So meaning that's the way to get close to the Prophet. This tatawu al mutlaq. Anytime just pray, 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 pray. Maybe then I can help you. To get to that place. So this is a tatawu al-mutlaq. And a tatawu al-mutlaq, the random or the open uh, prayer. The night t- time is better than the daytime, And the last half of the night is better than the first half. And this is of course because we know that the general timings of the day and night. Evening is better for private worship. For dua, for dhikr, for uh, ibadah, for salah. For sujood, evening is better. And we learn as well that Allah Azza wa Jal comes down in the last third of the night and He asks, Who is there making dua? Who is there praying? So the last third of the night. And I already mentioned how do we calculate the last third? And that is from Fajr to from Maghrib to Fajr. From Fajr to from sorry, from Maghrib to Fajr, that is the beginning and end. And then we look at what is the last third. And so the general rule is that the later on during the night that you make dua, or the later on during the night that you pray, it is better. And so all of this is permitted. So, at tatawu al-mutlaq, at any time of the night, at any time of the day, we're supposed to, we're encouraged to pray two raka'at. And uh, the two raka'at, wa salatu layli mathna, mathna. The prayer of the night should be done in pairs, two by two. Now, this is the general rule, and it is what the madhab says. Nonetheless, the hadith mentioned that at times the Prophet would pray 4-4. Four, four, and at times he would pray all eight together. However, this is based on the authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is muttafaq alayh, Salatu layli mathna mathna, faida khashita subh fa'awtiru. That Salatu layl is 2-2. Two, two, and when you think it will be uh, dawn, then just pray with it. Okay, so Salatul Layli Mathna Mathna wa Salatul Qa'idi ala nisfi min Salatul Qa'im. And the one who prays sitting down will get the reward of half of the reward of the one who prays standing up. And this is because our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explicitly said, Salatul Rajuli Qa'idan nisfu salah. And uh, reported by Sahih Muslim, the one who prays sitting down will get the reward of half of the salah. Now, this sitting down can be done for any of the non-fard salah. So any of the salah mentioned in this chapter, it is allowed to pray sitting down. But you lose half of the reward. Salat uh, al-rajuli, 
so uh, um, salatu rajuli qaidan ala nisf salati qaiman. The one who prays sitting down will get half of the reward of the one praying standing up, and therefore. Those of us who are healthy, those of us who are able to, they should pray standing up, even the sunnah and nafil. Nonetheless, there are times, so when a person is genuinely sick, that is a different story. And perhaps if a person cannot stand up out of, uh, uh, no, no, we're not, disability is clearly forgiven. That's even the fardi is not going to stand up. We're not even talking about that. We're talking about somebody that is temporarily ill, that he has, like, say, a pain. So, for example, our Prophet Sallam, uh, fell off of a camel for at one point in his life and he was not able to stand for one month. So he prayed salah sitting down. Now in this case, we won't apply the hadith of half because it's beyond your control. Okay? So you get a, a broken leg for example and you have the big cast and you cannot stand with that cast and do sajda. So you have to sit down until the cast is removed. This hadith doesn't apply then. So in this case, he shall get the full reward because his niyyah was to stand up. And the man will be rewarded according to the niyyah. But there are times when you are very, very tired, let's say. And you just don't have the energy, let's say, to stand up because you want to go to sleep. So it's halal completely and you should not feel guilty because it is better for you. No, not the fard, we just said clearly over here. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to say that <laughs> So salat, uh, The salah of the one who is tired Let's say The nafil and sunnah It is allowed for this person to pray uh, Seated And for him to pray seated Is better than for him not to pray So if you're so tired And especially the one who is regular at tahajjud Right It is very possible that they'll wake up And they're very sleepy But they still want to pray so for this person, we say, you know what? Okay, if you're that sleepy today, it was a bad day, whatever. Instead of going back to sleep, it is better for you to sit down and pray. And inshallah ta'ala, you will get much reward compared to the going back to sleep. But the point is that it is ja'iz and halal, and there is no guilt because it's sunnah anyway, it's nafil anyway. So if a person wants to pray the nafil sitting down, it is better than not praying the nafil at all. Nonetheless, to pray standing up, you will get double the reward versus the one sitting down. Okay? So this is the third category, and that is unconditional sunnas. <laughs> أما استحييته تعصيني ولا تخشى من العتب وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي وتأبى في الهوى قربي فتب مما جنيت عسى تعود إلى رضا الرب